Okay. I was tagged by Red Duchess Farm to do a collab of five things we're excited to grow this year. Okay, for starters, I gotta throw right up front. Um, we have pretty much our standards that we grow every year, which we don't get a, you know, like a lot of fancy foods that we grow. Um, we pretty much stick to the basics. Now, tomatoes, tomatoes are one of those things we grow a lot of. Um, I will plant 300 and up tomato plants every year, but we use a lot of tomatoes. So, um, I can a lot of them. I can just tomatoes, I can tomato sauce, I make our own, um, pasta or spaghetti sauce, I make our own uh, chili sauce, ketchup, salsa, you name it, I'm canning it in the tomato department. No, oh, at least I forget my son. Ha! <laughs> pizza sauce. Gotta have the pizza sauce too. And one of the things my family likes the best, which probably sounds a little odd or weird, but at the end of the growing season and we're left with all these green tomatoes right before frost and they're not going to ripen. I use those to make salsa with. <laughs> um, my family actually likes the green tomato salsa better than salsa made out of ripened tomatoes. So, big plus for the green tomatoes and what to do with them. Otherwise, um, one seed I wanted to show y'all that I've been planting for years, uh, which is a little bit odd to most people, but I get this seed from Baker Creek, and it's called a long Thai purple potted uh, yard long bean, and it, it's a type of green bean, and it is, it actually gets very long. Um, I will insert a picture here of some that I've harvested um, last year. They're a very beautiful bean, uh, very tender, even though they're long and everything, they're very tender, uh, very good for canning or just table use even. Um, they are a skinnier bean, so I don't French these, I just, you know, snap and can that way. Um, one new one that I'm going to try this year, I have never tried in the bean department, is the rattlesnake. I want to try the rattlesnake beans. Everybody goes on about how well they produce and how good they are. So I want to try these this year. That's one of my new ones for the year. Um, otherwise, as far as my main canning bean... I stick with good old Kentucky Wonder Bush. They major produce. Um, I will can hundreds of jars of those a year. Um, I probably can at least enough where you could eat for every other day if you wanted to. But I try to can ahead for a couple of years so that way if we have a bad year like last year, then thank God I had excess canned up and put back. Um, another new one I'm going to try this year. I've grown um, sunflowers before, but always drew, grew the, the, the mammoths, the big sunflowers. Um, I want to try growing the uh, black seeded. Um, mainly for helping to supplement our chicken feed. Okay, another new one I'm going to grow this year, which really isn't for the garden, but it's going in our orchard, so. And it's too bad I can't have bees here. I have too many farmers I'm surrounded by who like to spray their crops. So I'm afraid to have bees. I'm afraid I'll, I'll just kill them, and I really don't want to 
risk killing a bunch of bees. Um, they're too precious to be chancing uh, killing them. But I want to plant crimson clover in my orchard. And another new one I'm going to try this year is buttercup or but yeah buttercup squash I normally grow um got to think here what it's called <laughs> butternut squash I I grow the butternut squash butternut is it has a great flavor in fact I'll use it over pumpkin and pie <laughs> just because I like the flavor better but and it has a little bit of a nutty hint to it. But I thought these were interesting and they're better cup. And we'll see how well they they grow and produce and how well they keep. The butternut squash, I've kept them for well past a year and it's just sitting on the counter. And they were still good. They're very good keepers. But we're going to check these out and see how they are. And that's probably already five things. The other thing I'm excited to grow, though, is Danny corn. Um, we've grown Danny corn the last two years, and I'm slowly building that stash up. <laughs> I've got about one and a half gallons of Danny corn seed in there, um, saved from last year. And it's a type of field corn, but uh, it's great for cornmeal and things like that, grinding. And I want to raise it mainly for supplementing feed for chickens and things um, and pigs. <laughs> We're going to raise pigs again this year. I missed my pigs last year, and I missed that pork in the freezer this winter. But we're going to try to grow more of it than we have in the past. Um, and I now have a good stash of seed to do that with. Uh, Danny corn is also great for making hominy with. I made hominy last year with it, and it turned out great. Um, in fact, I used the um, recipe Wanda from Deep South Homestead. <laughs> Uh, she has a video uh, on making hominy, and that's it's the recipe that I used to make mine, and it worked out great. But that's pretty much my stash for growing. Other than that, I grow a lot of herbs. Um, sweet corn, I don't grow a lot of because I can buy it cheap from the Amish, and I know how they raise it. They're Amish, <laughs> and they're raising it for their families and for selling, and when I can buy 17 years of corn for $7.50, I'll let them raise it. I'll let them fight the raccoons and all the pests. Um, I've not had good luck for the last few years trying to grow sweet corn. Um, the critters always get it right before it's ready, and I mess it. <laughs> so, Joseph? <laughs> I'll let Joseph sit out in that field and keep the critters out of the corn and I'll buy his corn. Same way with potatoes. Um, I raise a few potatoes simply because I like I like the little bitty new potatoes in with fresh green beans. I can make a meal out of that. That's wonderful. But I don't raise them to can and grow. I can buy them from the Amish for like $10 for 100 pounds of them. So. I save my guard for other things. <laughs> I'll let them raise them potatoes. Um, other than that, uh, I've got a few new herbs I want to grow this year, but we'll save that for another video. Um, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be tagging for this. I guess three other people, but I'm not real sure who. I think it's pretty much an open collab now. So if you've got a few new things out there, or even older things that you think other people might be interested in growing, put a video out. Five things we are excited to grow, be growing this year. 
Um, thank you, Mark, for tagging me. And this collab was originally started by uh, the Wright Farm, our farms. So I will put a tag for both of those in the description below. And I just want to thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful week. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.